Recent reports about the missing stock of 1,355 kilograms of ivory from the Uganda Wildlife Authority's strong room has shown a spotlight on its activities. This, coupled with the authority clearance of the export shillings 11 billion worth of pangolin scales, has sent industry stakeholders asking about the duty and mandate of the authority. Last year, the Ministry of Tourism and UWA cleared the wildlife trade to export 7,000 kilograms uh, of pangolin scales. You saw that in the papers recently. According to the documents, we did not apply the necessary checks and balances that are spelled out by CITES. This is the Convention on International Trade and Endangered Species of Wildlife, uh, Wild Flora and Fauna. So we are supposed to be conserving for generations, but unfortunately they get involved in the sale of wildlife. The Uganda Tourism Association maintains that it has proof that the authority has been involved in the trade of a variety of wildlife products beyond the much quoted ivory and pangolin scales. In the list presented to journalists, items over 10 different game trophies, ranging from leopard skins to buffalo horns, are quoted among the items cleared by the Uganda Wildlife Authority for export. The authority executive director, Dr. Andrew Seguia, however, maintains that some of these items quoted, like pangolins, can legally be traded. Well, um, what I can tell you is that uh, trade in pangolins is legal trade. And uh, um, through the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species, quotas are given to countries and uh, permission is given to countries to trade in certain animals and not in others. He, however, maintains that more effort needs to go towards reining in those dealing in wildlife-related contraband whose operations sometimes happen above the UWA mandate. We need to know who is bringing in this contraband. Where are they passing? Why are they finding in Tebe Airport a fertile ground? If someone can bring a container all the way from Angola, why didn't they export it in all those countries and still come to Uganda? UWA doesn't control in Tebe Airport, so a lot of questions have to be asked about that. In its submission, the Uganda Tourism Association insists that all trade in wildlife should be banned and bring those responsible to book, considering the wildlife importance to the tourism industry. The sector currently contributes $1.5 billion to the economy, sitting among the country's leading forex earner. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.